Eduardo Leeds in the chat now. Let's go. Daniel Preston in the studio, this time representing Sierra Recon. Um, I know you grew up in Lake Tahoe. Yes, I did. Did you ever do the thing where people leave and then you then you came back? I left for a little while. Where'd you go? To Santa Rosa. Yeah? How'd that yeah. work out? It was, it was pretty good. You're back. I'm back. I'm You're back. back. <laughs> yeah, I was only there for three years. Yeah. So. I mean, it seems like it happens to everybody, though, that I've ever known that grew up in... You were born at Barton Hospital. Yes, I was. Yeah. That's awesome. And then, and then you, you decided to come back and... Live in the mountains. Yeah, I love it here. I know you guys uh, went up to the Tough Mudder competition. It's, like, it's competition, right? That was yeah. up on the North Shore last year. <laughs> well, the Tough Mudder, is, it's, it's more just the fun race because they don't really keep track of any time or anything. Mm -hmm. So there's no real winner. So it's, What's the it, motivation? Just for fun, just for fun. So the difference in our... Uh, our race is that I mean, it's totally for fun. You want to come so, out? So, yeah. yeah, so Sierra but, Recon is you guys are, are trying to, you went to the Tough Mudder and yeah. said, we, we want to do a similar race, but we're going to take what we don't like about it and, and improve on it. Yeah, and change it a little. So you can come for fun. You don't have to race if you don't want to. But also we're going to have trophies for, every, for all the categories. So if mm -hmm. you really want to try and you want to be competitive, Everybody's you can do it. Everybody's competitive on some level. Well, yeah, everybody wants to. People say, I'm not competitive. But yeah, you, when you're with really, really good athletes, you know you're going to kick your ass. You go, ah, I'm not very competitive. But when you think yeah. you might win, they go, oh, you know, I'm going to be competitive today. Yeah, so we're going to have timing. They don't have any timing on there at Tough, Tough Mudder. So we, we wanted to have timing, you know, just so that way, you know, you want to know. Because I kept track. I'm, everybody's curious about what their time is, you know. Mm -hmm. Like we said, no matter what, you want to know. Well, yeah. Well, for people that maybe are not even familiar with Tough Mudder, explain what Sierra Recon is. Like, I, you know, start for the basics. Someone's never even heard of it. Okay. Give them the big picture. Okay, so it's a, it's a running race, multi-obstacle, and we have three different distances. So if you want to do them, and we, it's four miles for the beginner and seven miles for the intermediate and 11 miles for the advanced. Mm -hmm. So each one, um, there's 20 obstacles total, and... There's going to be less obstacles, of course, for each one. And what I mean, what kind is it like? Is it a, so, is it a pit full of like alligators, yeah. <laughs> or is it like you know you got to crawl like through razor blades, oh, yeah. or is it you know too dangerous? So oh, you're going to be okay. in the, you're going to get muddy. You're going to do some climbing over logs and different obstacles, and then we're utilizing a lot of the obstacles from the from the snowboard park at oh, okay. Sierra Tahoe. Yeah. Um, so it's just going to be a lot of fun obstacles. So the running part is not as far as you think. I mean, between the obstacle is not going to be that big of a run. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to run and then do a fun obstacle and but and not tons of mud because Sierra is not a real muddy mountain, but we're trying to make as much mud as well, possible. Well, yeah, the Sierras are not very muddy. No. I mean, you get, yeah, it yeah. means you got to bring a hose, right? Yeah, I, I mean, you're not like, hose. oh, where's but the mud We have bottle? a couple natural springs. And it looks like the, the event's July 14th. You're going to have a hard time finding mud. You're going to yeah. have to create mud. Well, we, are ha we, are, we covered some of the features in the train park and we're hopefully there'll be some snow. Oh, just to save a little yeah. bit. Oh, good. Have some snow so up there, have too. Have some snow and have that as an obstacle. Good luck. And July 14th. Now you think you're still going to have some snow up there? Well, if we, we covered it up, we're hoping. I just got a text. Yeah. I turned that off. Okay. <laughs> Pardon me. You could imagine my embarrassment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you guys are also going to have a, a category for, for kids. Yeah, we're going to have kids races too. So different age groups and different distances for the kids, which will be you know fun for them. And they're going to climb through the mud too and do all that stuff. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of different ones. we got one where you got to climb over tires. You know, you got to go under. We were thinking bob wire, but maybe just flagging, mm -hmm. you know, through the mud. Bob wire is tougher, tougher. We got um, ice water that you're going to have to go through. Mm -hmm. Just drag yourself through mud. We're, and one cool feature we're doing is a really big slip and slide. Why don't you make something like we have to eat something really gross along the way or something? You know, kind of throw yeah. in like a fear factor thing. We thought about it. Yeah. And then they have beer drinking ones too. You could get one of those hot dogs that they sell at the Swiss Mart and make them eat one of those things. You know, it's on the little, yeah. the wheel. I mean, I, I've seen those. They've been in there as long. You grew up here. It's the same hot dog when oh, you were yeah. a kid that's spinning on that same, wheel. Yeah. Make somebody eat that hot dog that's that been on be the, the same thing inside the Swiss Mart for years. That'd be a good one. Yeah. Um, so to get involved, I guess the website's up there. People can, can register. And it's yep. teams, right? Yeah, you can do it individual or teams for e any of the categories. So you can do two, four, and six. Uh, we're having... It, in even numbers, because one of the obstacles is a uh, prone carry, where you have to carry one of your partners like up the hill. And if you're a single, you're probably going to carry a log or something. Right. So. And if you're little, you're going to have even a littler partner. Yeah, you better get it. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be a little guy and get yeah. to carry Jeremy Curl or something yeah. through the thing. That'd be crazy. No. Wouldn't even be fair. <laughs> no. 
cool. So uh, the event's July 14th. It's at Sierra at Tahoe. Yeah. Uh, register in advance. Uh, any? Th how much is it to get in? Right now it's 65, 75, and 85. So you pay less if you sign up for the less miles. Uh -huh. And it's going to go up in a, in a little bit. Ten dollars each, and then towards the the day of the event, it'll go up another ten dollars. So you learn that in the so, ski industry. That's how they do it. Huh? Yeah, I mean, so we'll sign get, up. You get a little closer. It's going to hack you for more. Sign up right now, and then we're having uh, a great after party at Mont Blue. Oh, nice! And we're going to have food there and beer, and uh, yeah, thanks to Pabst Blue Ribbon for cool. they're going to be our headlining sponsor. Classy, and, classy. Yep. PBR. <laughs> so it'll be good. It'll be a lot of fun. Good for spectators too. So cool. And we got some time, so you'll come back in and hopefully yeah. uh, promote it. Just get a little closer to remind people. Yeah. Daniel come back. Preston, born and raised in South Lake Tahoe. The event's called Sierra Recon, July fourteenth at Sierra Tahoe. We'll take a quick break and be back with the last half hour. Excuse me. Hour and a half of Tahoe today. <laughs> <laughs>